everybody, and welcome to the Dynamic Prepper. Well, it's that time of month again, time for Monthly Knife Club. Actually, we're doing a little bit of makeup work today. This is going to be the August Monthly Knife Club box, but uh, we're getting to it in September, but I didn't want to miss it, so we're going to go ahead and take a step back into August and take a look at Monthly Knife Club for August 2019. If you aren't familiar with Monthly Knife Club, you can check them out over at monthlyknifeclub.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. And what they are is a monthly subscription box service that delivers to your door each and every month a box full of knives as well as EDC and survival gear. If you check them out on their website, you'll notice they have a lot of different box options, including different price points, different types of knives that you can specialize in the box. So they have a ton of different options, lots of different price points. You're guaranteed to find the right knife box for you, monthlyknifeclub.com. Check them out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the August box. All right. Go and right down there. Taped it up pretty good this month. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Very cool. All right, let's uh, go. Do we have a card in here? Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Let's take a look on the bottom. There it is. All right, so there's our monthly Knife Club box card. And this, of course, will list uh, everything that comes in each one of their different plans, as well as associated uh, costs with each one of those items. We're gonna be paying attention to the uh, ultimate plan here, and this particular box is going to be the EDC name brand folder box. But let's go ahead and get into everything else that's in the box. All right, first up, we have some paracord. Look at that, that's a fun color too. That's pretty nice. From uh, Atwood Rope Manufacturer uh, at atwoodrope.net, uh, we got a 100-foot hank of 550 paracord. I love getting paracord, especially cool colors. You know, there's only so much black and drab green paracord you can have in your collection. Um, so it's nice to get some fun colors every once in a while. So that's pretty cool. The Atwood 100-foot paracord value on this guy is $8.95. All right, next up we have from Gerber. This is the Myth Hands-Free Light. 25 lumens, five hours of runtime on that. Little headlamp for you. LED with a high and low mode. Comes with the battery, that's a AAA battery. I like this a lot, that's from their hunting lineup. And this is the Hands-Free Light uh, called the Myth. Price on this guy is uh, $30.95. All right, next up we have another item from Gerber. This is uh, from their Bear Grills Survival line. This is the knife sharpener. We've actually seen this on the channel before. Uh, we got one of these a uh, number of months ago. I actually don't remember what box we got it in. But anyways, we did get one of these, uh, so we've seen this on the channel before. It's actually a pretty nice knife sharpener. I've tried it out a couple of times, and uh, I like it. And my opinion with the Bear Grill stuff, and I say this every time we see it on the channel, uh, the Bear Grill stuff, because people love to go down in the comment section and, and just rail on how, uh, how much they hate Bear Grylls uh, Gerber line. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I agree with that. But there are a couple of things in the line that are actually sort of diamonds in the rough, if you will. Um, I say this every time I pull out something Bear Grylls. I'll say it again now. One of the best canteens on the market that you can buy is the Bear Grylls Series Gerber Canteen. It is an awesome canteen. I love it. I have like four of them now. One of the best canteens I've ever owned. A uh, couple quick modifications to it and it is a real winner. Uh, but uh, anyways, back to the knife sharpener. Again, saw one of these a few months ago. It's actually a pretty nice knife sharpener. I like it a lot. Price on that guy was $21.95. All right, next up I'm gonna kind of move down here to the bottom to this guy right there. And here we have from East West, we have a range bag. Go ahead and check it out. Nice and spacious. There's a couple of different pockets on the end. Shoulder strap there. Handles there. Some pouches on the outside here for holding some of your extra accessories. Writing utensils, things like that. Always need to have those things when you're heading out to the range. Another there. So very simple. Nice big zippers. I like a good range bag. I've had the same one for about 
uh, well, I don't know, 10, 15 years now, and uh, I don't see myself ever changing, but I always like to have uh, a good range bag. And actually, nowadays, I actually have a couple of different range bags depending on what I take. Uh, so having one uh, waiting in the wings, ready for a, uh, a new gun to call it home is always a nice thing. So there you go, range bag from East West. Price on that guy is $34.95 on the range bag. Next up, we have from Next Tool the Tiny Sting. Uh, and this is a key tool. So we have a bottle opener, a screwdriver, a wrench, a little S binder. So there you go, a little EDC keychain tool for you. Price on this guy is $9.99. Alrighty, next up we have, this is interesting. We have a faux book. For those of you that can't read, I'm kidding. Uh, this is a safe, basically, or stash point. A faux leather bound book safe. You can put that on a bookshelf and it blends right in with everything else. And of course you pull it out and there's a hidden compartment where you can store valuables, goodies, things you don't necessarily want somebody to find easily. So that actually is a pretty nice item to add to your prep. Price on this guy is $16.95. All right, so now it's time to move on to what Monthly Knife Box is all about, and that is knives. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have from Javelin. This is the keyring knife. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. All righty, there we go, the Javelin keyring knife. As you can see, it has a keychain on it right there. Nice sharp little knife. Some G10 handles. That is a frame lock. Lightweight, easy to EDC on a keychain if you're into keychain carry. Some people are, some people aren't. So there you go, that is the Javelin keychain knife. Price on this guy is $9.95. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, uh, oops, open the box already. This uh, folder down here. I love folders, so we'll get into this guy right away. This is uh, from Combat Ready. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Ooh, wow. That's a funky looking knife. Look at this thing. So we have full G10 handles and kind of a crazy, almost looks like a snakeskin effect. Pretty aggressively textured too. Actually feels really good. Nice clip there for pocket carry. Let's take a look at this blade, shall we? There you go. That is an assisted knife. Look at that. Acid washed finished on the blade. Combine that with that uh, crazy looking scale. Looks pretty good. So this is the Combat Ready Acid Washed Folder. Nice little EDC knife. It's a liner lock. Especially if you're into smaller assisted opening EDC knife. Very cool. Like the blade design. Nice belly on there. A little shorter knife overall for those that like a little smaller carry. I'm a fan. Uh, $13.95 is the price on this guy. All right, let's get into this uh, fixed blade knife we got hanging out here taunting us away. Already looks interesting without even taking it out yet. So there you go. Nice, uh, nice sheath we got going on here. Let's take a look at the blade. This is the S-Tech fixed blade with G10 handles, full tank construction, full G10 handles. Nicely balanced, feels slim and lightweight, but yet is substantial. Feels really good in the hand. I like that grip. It's wide enough where it fills the hand. So good purchase on that. I mean, it feels slim, yet it has uh, a really good feel to it. Very nice. Sharp blade. Oh, yes. Very, very sharp. Like it a lot and comes with this nice sheath too with belt carry. So that is the G10 handled fixed blade knife from S-Tech. Price on this guy is $24.95. All right, so last but not least, we are into our folder for the box. So in this particular package uh, with the ultimate level, uh, this is the EDC name brand folder box. So in every box, you're going to get a nice expensive folder. And of course, this is it uh, from Proila. Proila? Hmm. Okay. Fight for what's yours. All right, let's take a look at this. Ooh. So we have, looks like a belt clip there. We have a... Uh, tool, little Torx tool there, and there is our knife, 
Comes with a nylon sheath. Ooh, check it out. So there we go. Here's our belt clip there. Has a place on the other side there too uh, for either right or left-handed carry. And that's what the other belt clip is for here. If you wanna go on the other side, because of course it's curved to follow the curve of the knife. So if you put this one on the other side, the curve would go the other way. So that's not gonna look good. So they give you a second uh, belt clip if you want to change from you know left to right, right to left, whichever way you want to carry. All G10 handles, some nice texture on the back there. Stainless steel construction, it's a flipper, also has a little indent there where we can do a, uh, a thumb open too. So let's go ahead and check out this blade, huh? Ooh, that felt good. Very nice, you can tell there's a bearing in there. Look at that, D2 air hardened tool steel. And for those of you that follow the channel know that I love the D2 tool steel. It's one of my favorite blade steels as far as being um, a really hard uh, blade steel, very durable, but yet it's not a super crazy expensive uh, steel. So if you're looking for a nice upgrade above sort of your, your entry level and mid-level blade steels, D2 tool steel is becoming very affordable these days in a lot of different configurations and it is a workhorse blade. Really strong, maintains an edge for a very, very long time. Nice and hard, really workhorse steel. The one drawback to it being a harder steel is a little bit more challenging to, uh, to sharpen, uh, but certainly I wouldn't let that stand in the way of owning a good D2 tool steel knife if you don't already. And this is a great candidate. I love the girth, I love the feel. It feels really good in the hand, substantial knife, but it is not an overly heavy knife. I actually think it's kind of deceptively light for how big it is. Yeah, really, really fun blade. I like this a lot. You know, some people kind of razz me a little bit for how much I will play with a knife <laughs> in a box opening or review like this. And if I play with it a lot, it's because I like it. That's kind of my giveaway. So if I'm opening and closing it and flicking it around with a nice wrist flick, which I love to do, um, that's, that's just me enjoying the knife. So, and you can tell the knives that I like because of the ones that I play with the most. Uh, price on this guy is $89.95 for our big time EDC folder. And this is definitely going in my pocket. Really like it, stealthy looking, looks cool, lightweight, substantial knife, really cool blade design, feels really good, opens really good. D2 tool steel, G10 handles. What is there to not like about this knife? So it's got it where it counts. I like it a lot. It comes with a sheath too, which for me is not really all that important when it comes to an EDC folder because I'm gonna carry it in my pocket. But for those of you that like to belt carry your knives, it is an option, so there you go. All right, let's get everything back in here. That wraps us up for uh, Monthly Knife Club for August 2019. Let's go ahead and move our box aside real quick. All right, so let's just run back through everything that came in this month's box, do a little refresher here. Uh, so first up, we had the 100 foot hank of 550 paracord in a fun kind of blue and purple and orange color. After that, we had uh, from Gerber, the Myth Hands Free Headlamp. After that, we had another item from uh, Gerber from the Bear Grill series, the knife sharpener. Next up, we had the uh, Next Tool Tiny Sting EDC keychain tool, right there. After that, we had the East West Range Bag. Something for you shooting lovers out there, a little range bag for you, put that right there. After that, we had the faux leather uh, book safe. So for hiding items in plain sight. And then that gets us into our knives for the monthly knife club. So first off, we had the Javelin keychain knife right there, little EDC keychain knife. Next up, we had the uh, Combat Ready G10 folder with the acid wash blade. Fun knife right there. Then we had from S-Tech the fixed blade knife with G10 handle. That guy right there. And then last up, our name brand folder for this month's box was the Proila TX020 Black D2 Tool Steel G10 Handle Folder. Right there. 
So that was our name brand folder for this month. So there you go, that was everything that came in this month's monthly knife club. Hope you enjoyed everyone, take it easy.